hello guys welcome back to the channel it's another beautiful day out here today blue skies but it's actually quite windy so um, I was just thinking about the number of Hummer H2s that I have seen recently for sale and I thought it might be a good time to make a quick video so we can talk about uh, the sales price of Hummer H2s uh, if you are in the market for a Hummer how much you can expect to pay and uh, what are the features some of the features that you should be looking out for so let's head into the vehicle and uh, go somewhere where we are protected from the wind jump right in again like I said it's quite windy out there And off we go. So we've had a good, nice, warm weather here for the past couple of days, but unfortunately, uh, it looks like we might be having a snowstorm coming our way. So, <laughs> ought to get ready for that. We'll get to the other side of the house that way we are out of the elements uh, somewhere here so wind is coming from the north that way we are kind of on the leeward side of the wind alrighty 6.8 miles per gallon uh, that's not too bad for the Hummer you can expect to get anywhere from I would say 9 to 13, 14 miles per gallon. 14 is actually stretching it a little bit. But if you drive carefully, judiciously, you can easily get anywhere from, uh, I would say very common to get between 10 and 12 and a half miles per gallon. And even though that might sound painful, but you would have a smile on your face <laughs> when getting your 12 miles per gallon. Okay guys, let's jump outside and talk about Homa H2 pricing. I'll turn this off for now. Um, let's jump out here. Oops, it's beeping, 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 beeping. All right. <clears throat> so if you are looking at this video, if you're watching this video, it's more likely than not uh, either because you own a Homa or you at some point in uh, time plan on owning a Hummer so the H2 was built from uh, was sold from 2003 to 2009 uh, it was built in the United States and I believe also um, I don't know if they build them in other countries but uh, it was built in the United States and it was in the same factory where the original h1 homer was built and throughout it run about a hundred and uh, close to a hundred and sixty thousand were actually sold right here in the united states uh, i can't speak for other countries and other markets but that's the number i have uh, so throughout the years as you know some have been uh, written off some have crashed some have burned some are damaged beyond repairs some have been stripped for parts so the existing number of Homer H2s has slowly declined with time uh, an immediate consequence of that is that is uh, you have fewer and fewer parts available uh, there are some parts on the Homer which are specific for the vehicle and you don't have uh, too much aftermarket support for those parts so if uh, you can't find those then you are left to look for a used one on the uh, in the second-hand market from a vehicle that was stripped uh, throughout its run there were three different engine configurations and also three different transmission configurations uh, the most desirable being the very final two years of the Hummer H2's uh, run which would be 2008-2009 and that's when they got the six speed transmission which is a very beefed up uh, and very sturdy transmission uh, coupled with a 6.2 liter vortex 
Vortec Vortec V8 engine. So that was the best here. Uh, the interior was updated. It also looks very nice and the 2008-2009 interiors also age very well, much better than the earlier Hummers. So those ones, uh, those years are very desirable. So trim levels, there were three different trim levels and it's very difficult to actually differentiate uh, between those three. But you had the base Hummer, then you had uh, the adv adventure package and finally you had the luxury package. Um, a few features were interchangeable between those uh, three trim levels including but not limited to the air ride suspension um, you had uh, the sunroof like this one it has a sunroof um, other features would be the stereo you had different uh, versions of the stereo that were sold with the Hummer some had the navigation system some had the CD changer and uh, some were even more basic than that. Uh, what other features could I think? Uh, yeah, so speaking of uh, the different trim levels, you see like the chrome on the uh, rear view mirror, that was not available on all the trims. So it's very difficult to see, uh, to tell exactly what trim uh, package you had. Uh, for me, I don't really know which one I had, but I know my Hummer has uh, the sunroof and it also has the air ride suspension. Uh, it's got the chrome mirrors and uh, I think that's all I could think of. It has the 6 CD changer, so I don't know if that changes anything and it was, it apparently was fitted with uh, the factory fog light system. So that's that for mine. Well, speaking about prices, prices will depend a lot on the condition of your Hummer. You could see this running anywhere from, um, I would say, $10,000 all the way up to $30,000, $40,000, with some uh, outliers being in the $50,000, $60,000 range. Those would be vehicles in uh, pristine condition with an exceptional history. Uh, maybe it was owned by a famous uh, musician, rapper, or uh, NBA athlete. Those would command a significantly higher premium. The mileage also on the Hummers uh, determines their value. Uh, the lower mileage, of course, is more desirable. Uh, clean interior without, uh, without ripped seats. Uh, also command a higher price if you're buying your Hummer from a dealer you would notice that uh, they always try to return the Hummer to stock so if you had like aftermarket headlights uh, the dealership will try to get OEM headlights like mine uh, if you had 